Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Keeping Goals and today's episode is going to be jam-packed. Well done! It is comedy and asses! And they'll come and they'll kill for it. Is the Euros final? England versus Italy. The channel managed to reach 50,000 subscribers and to celebrate we thought we got to do a giveaway. Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Keeping Goals. If you're new here, my name's Conor O'Keefe. I'm a goalkeeper playing in Sweden and keeping goals as a vlog here on YouTube that documents my journey throughout football. And today's episode is going to be jam-packed. Loads of stuff to bring you in this week's episode of the vlog. Right now, it is Sunday. It is match day, an important match day because it is the final game before the summer break, before the midpoint of the season. My club, PTR IF, we are taking on IF Sylvia at home, big game, gonna be a really, really good one. And the rest of the vlog should include some pretty fun stuff too. So if you enjoy today's video, I only ask for one thing, that little like button, give it a click, it would help us out massively. And if you haven't already, click subscribe and come and join the Keeping Goals Union. As I said, it's match day. It's currently about 12 o'clock. Kickoff isn't until four. The plan now, me and Frankie, we're gonna go for a little bit of a walk, stretch the legs, then we'll get some lunch sorted, pack the bags and head off to the game. Let's go. Little bit of a pre-match walk by the water with Franks, stretch of the legs, getting ready for the game. It's been absolutely tipping it down all morning. But it's still really warm. I brought the coat, <laughs> but didn't need, it. didn't need it. It's baking. So that should make for an interesting game. Rainy and hot. So, Franks, are you excited for the match? As always. As, As always. Said. Frankie Cam will be there. It will indeed. Important to get a good result before the break. We've done all right this first half. We've probably not got as many wins as we wanted to, but the last two home games, we've had two wins. So hopefully we can keep that home form going and maybe you're our lucky charm maybe that's why we keep winning so. since you came to watch we've been winning the games it's at the home frankie cam. it's the frankie cam the lucky frankie cam <laughs> but it's time to head back now grab some lunch get the kit bag packed and get ready for the game So the rain came back, absolutely smashing it down. So whilst I shelter for a little bit and hopefully wait for this to slow down a touch before I walk to the ground, I thought I'd tell you a little bit more about Sylvia. As you can see from the table, solid team. Top half of the league, six points ahead of us at the minute. Gonna be a tough game. We've watched video on them throughout this week, prepping for the game. They're a good side. But as I said, we're on a good run at home. We've had two good wins at home in the last two home games. So we need a big push, a big performance, and hopefully, another good result in today's game. But I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be a good one, especially with the rain. A Little bit more like home. Let's go smash it. Clean sheet, win, that's the aim. Let's go for it. Guess I better start walking. Blech. PT. Mm, till det vann 20 spik här hoppas Passang Abdulla på. Men det är Silvia som får um, inlägg efter marken. Så spelas. Och sen skottet på täckande Silvia spelare. Ja, där uh, rullar Pichu. Och Silvia spelar med det. Lindell. Men frisbacken. Skottet är bra och räddningen är ännu bättre från Conor O'Keefe. Ja, en toppräddning från fjolårets bästa målvakt i Division 2 fotbollen. Här slarvas det från Lindell. Vi kan straffa sig här och rulla läget. Skjuter mitt på. 
Här Gustafsson med skottet. Connor O'Keefe med en ny fin räddning. Han faktiskt innan av Manuel Neuer. Här är Nicken som är bra med räddningen då. Men räddningen då, hur hinner han dit Connor O'Keefe? Det är en ny hörna. Oj, 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 vilken match han gör så här långt. Connor O'Keefe den igen. Det är en bra hörna från Nazis och Nicken där. Det är också bra. Så nu Abdullah finns centralt. Han dribblar och avslutar. Läget är bra men och Kiv kommer ut på. Abdullah kommer han till ett avslut och gör han. Men mitt på Lindell. Ska de ha hemma ett jobb där? Av Johansson. Ola Silvia gav denna på alldeles eh, fel ställe. Och det kan eh, bli någonting här. Assis kommer igen. Assis! Men då kommer och Kif ut. Och så Gren då får en möjlighet. Ta med sig den där och skjuter. Men påtäckande. Dull Assis. Avsluta med hör. Ja, här kan det gå undan. Här då, Stål kan ju avsluta här. Men skottet är ju inte bra alls. Händer i Slättsjö, händer i Slättsjö då. Kan ju avsluta därifrån, det gör han. Assis kan avsluta här. Abdul Assis i ribban. Det är möjligt här att få bollen tillbaka. Sundberg här med inlägget som är högt och ganska långsamt. Och då sätter ut den här mot Assis som får med sig den här. Assis! Stål, klacka med sig den där. Stål tittar upp, avslutar i stolpen och returen, Gren. Kommer långt där, för uppåt på den med Svaj Hafte. Det är ensam. Ja, där är ledningsmålet. Där håller han sig framme. Hashan Abdullah och gör sitt åttonde mål för den här säsongen. Verera. Och han styr in den där i nätet bakom Otto Lindell. För dem när det är så mycket folk där inne. Bollen ska väl ut på kanten istället. Stål lyfter den där. Och där kommer Fano och Kiv. Sparken på bort och där är kvitteringen. Där är kvitteringen ifrån Sylvian. Den nästa inåt kan utmana här. Burupa, Burupa. Han dröjer lite länge för ändå ut bollen där på kanten och skottet som styrs utanför. Domare Bäcksen pipar i munnen och blåser av den här matchen. 1-1 mellan Piteå och Sylvia. Så den andra matchen av idag, som vi är i den 86 minuten av, för jag har helt enkelt glömt att filma, vilket jag skulle göra. Is the Euros final? England versus Italy. Franks behind the camera is part Italian. Who are you supporting, Franks? England. England. <laughs> one one at the moment. Eighty seventh minute. So it's been a pretty intense day with our game and mm. then this game. I'll talk more about our game tomorrow, but it'll be interesting to see how this one goes. Pickford has made two very good saves. Donnarumma, not many, but he's a monster. So it'll be interesting who will come out on top on this one. But yeah, still feeling a little bit tired from our game. But enjoying this one. We'll get back to it. So after a little bit of a break, about seven days since I filmed that last part, we're back for the final part of the vlog. I'll tell you why we had a little bit of a break in a second, but first of all, the game against Sylvia. A tough game, a difficult game, as I said it would be before the match. I think when you look at the full game, the full highlights, and you analyze it completely, we can't be too disappointed with a draw. But it is always tough when you concede late in the game, especially when you're leading, when you're coming towards the end of the match and you think that you're gonna be able to hold on for all three points. 
And that's something that we can probably work on in the second half of the season, making sure that when we're in the position to win games, we kill them off, even when it's as close and as tight as it was. Because there's been a couple of games already this season where we've conceded late goals and that's robbed us of points. So that's something that we can get better at. Personally, I was pleased with how I played. I felt like I contributed, made some important saves, especially in the first half. On more of a deeper goalkeeping analysis, I was pleased with how I dealt with crosses. Especially as it was very wet at the beginning of the game and then started to dry, it meant difficult conditions for catching crosses. But I was being positive, coming and claiming them as high as I can, getting in front of the attackers to come and claim them, and also some along the floor I dealt with pretty well as well. So I was pleased with that element of my game. It was also nice to make that top-handed save from the free kick, especially given the fact that I put in so much work on my player metrics. That's something that's very rewarding for us as keepers when there's an area of our game that we work really hard on and then we see that pay off on the pitch. So that was a good feeling to make that save and to contribute in that moment. As you can see from the table, it was still a very important point. We're not where we want to be, but our next game is key because it is our game in hand. And to pick up three points in that would be massive. It is extremely tight in that bottom half of the table leading into the second half of the season. So lots more exciting games to come. Away from our game, a tough loss for England in the final of the Euros, but some really, really big goalkeeping moments. Donnarumma, big performance, two saves in the shootout, winning player of the tournament as well. Always nice to see a goalkeeper winning those type of awards. And with Pickford, an incredible save just before the Italy goal and really unfortunate, two saves in the penalty shootout and probably the best penalty save I've ever seen from Jorginho. Given the circumstances, given the moment, Jorginho, how good a penalty taker he is, to win it for Italy, to make a save like that is unbelievable. And I felt so sorry for him that that didn't then lead England to go on and win it. But I put up a tweet saying how I thought that Pickford was probably one of England's best players throughout the whole tournament. Some excellent performances all the way through. I felt that he really managed to control that passion that he has for playing for England and to channel it into really, really big performances, key saves in big moments. And I hope this summer brings him more respect that he deserves because he's a top, top keeper. Excellent performance throughout the tournament and brought some brilliant goalkeeper moments that we could enjoy. And finally, after that final, me and Frankie, we were off on our holidays. We went for a week to Stockholm. We had a two week summer break, which we're in the middle of now from football. No training, no games, an opportunity for us to kind of relax recharge physically, mentally. Took the opportunity to go and visit Stockholm, be a little bit of a tourist for a week, walking around, exploring different areas of the cities, visiting museums, chilling in the parks, and just enjoying the chance to relax and explore a little bit more of Sweden. It's been full on with football since I arrived in January. So as I said, taking the opportunity to recharge a little bit mentally, physically, and prepare for the second half of the season. Also, whilst we're in Stockholm, the channel managed to reach 50,000 subscribers, which is absolutely crazy. Thank you so much to each and every one of you for supporting us, for supporting Keeping Goals, for enjoying the content that we put out. You won't believe how much it means to me, how much it means to Johnny, and we are so, so grateful. So thank you so much. It was pretty funny that we managed to reach that milestone whilst in Stockholm. I spoke to Johnny about it. We were reflecting on the time that we were in Stockholm, the two of us filming, at that point, I think in 2019, February 2019, it was only 1.8 thousand of you guys. So the fact that we were back in Stockholm to reach the 50,000 mark was pretty cool. We would never have thought that when we started Keeping Goals, so many of you guys would have joined us on this journey. We try and bring you as much value as we can with each and every video. And it is really rewarding to see that so many of you guys enjoy it. So again, Thank you so much. And to celebrate, we thought we got to do a giveaway to celebrate 50,000. So we've teamed up with Calia, as always, going to give you guys the chance to win some Calia goalkeeping gloves. We're going to have three winners. All you have to do, like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and comment down below your favorite thing about keeping goals. We'll pick out three winners. You'll have the choice. You can win a pair of one of my pairs of gloves, or you can get a brand new pair from Calia. And as I said, all you have to do, like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and comment below your favorite thing about keeping goals. Good luck, and we'll be announcing the winners in next week's episode. This week's patron of the week is Mayank Kabadi. Mayank, thank you so much for supporting us. Thank you for supporting Keeping Goals. We wouldn't be able to make the vlog without patrons like yourself. So as a thank you, 
here is your keeping goal shout out. You guys can become a patron like Mayank by signing up using the link below this video. But that's it for this week's episode. Thank you so much for watching guys and thank you yet again for supporting us and supporting the channel. Remember to enter the competition. We'll be announcing the winners in the next episode. But have a great week guys. Look after yourselves. Keep chasing improvement as always. And I'll speak to you in a bit.